Good morning and welcome to our Thy Kingdom Come daily prayers on Friday. As you know, we've been uh, following this uh, mini daily prayers series this week and we will continue to follow this next week. The Thy Kingdom Come initiative has brought together church leaders from um, across the churches to produce this set of reflections that um, are to be used between Ascension and Pentecost, but we are using them for these two weeks of daily prayers. They've produced 11 reflections. Uh, unfortunately, we need 12 for our daily prayer series. So today, um, I'm afraid you'll have to make do with a Larissa reflection. But let's come to God in prayer now. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Um, I thought I would explore today how the disciples might have felt the day after Ascension Day, the day after Jesus went up to heaven and left them. They no doubt would have felt lament and loss and they would have missed him. So I thought it would be helpful to look at the story of Elijah and Elisha. So the reading is 2 Kings chapter 2, beginning at verse 1. When the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven in a whirlwind, Elijah and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. Elijah said to Elisha, stay here, the Lord has sent me to Bethel. But Elisha said, as surely as the Lord lives and as you live, I will not leave you. So they went down to Bethel. The company of the prophets at Bethel came out to Elisha and asked, Do you know that the Lord is going to take your master from you today? Yes, I know, Elisha replied, but do not speak of it. Then Elijah said to him, Stay here, Elisha. The Lord has sent me to Jericho. And he replied, As surely as the Lord lives and as you live, I will not leave you. So they went to Jericho. The company of the prophets at Jericho went up to Elisha and asked him, Do you know that the Lord is going to take your master from you today? Yes, I know, he replied, but do not speak of it. Then Elijah said to him, Stay here, the Lord has sent me to the Jordan. And he replied, As surely as the Lord lives and as you live, I will not leave you. So the two of them walked on. Fifty men of the company of the prophets went and stood at a distance facing the place where Elijah and Elisha had stopped at the Jordan. Elijah took his cloak, rolled it up and struck the water with it. The water divided to the right and to the left and the two of them crossed over on dry ground. When they had crossed, Elijah said to Elisha, Tell me what can I do for you before I am taken from you? Let me inherit a double portion of your spirit, Elisha replied. You have asked a difficult thing, Elijah said. Yet if you see me when I am taken from you, it will be yours. Otherwise not. As they were walking along and talking together, suddenly a chariot of fire and horses of fire appeared and separated the two of them, and Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. Elisha saw this and cried out, My father, my father, the chariots and horsemen of Israel. And Elisha saw him no more. Then he took hold of his own clothes and tore them apart. Luke, the author of yesterday's Ascension reading, 
expected his readers to know the story of Elijah and Elisha. And it's a story which helps us to understand the lament and loss that Ascension brought for those first disciples. Elisha is devastated at the loss of his friend and mentor. And so Elisha asks for a double portion of Elijah's spirit to sustain him in his mission. This double spirit surely is an illustration of the Holy Spirit that will come all those years later at Pentecost. At Ascension, Jesus' followers face a similar loss, a similar bereavement. They lament the loss of Jesus. The disciples lost Jesus when he went up to heaven. They were told that the Spirit was coming, but they did not know exactly what would happen at Pentecost. And don't forget that we speak about the Holy Spirit with the benefit of knowing the Pentecost narrative. In the meantime, they are left without Jesus not knowing how his plan is going to be accomplished. And so they lament and miss him. Now we come to a time of prayer. So let's call to mind those five people on our list who you would like to come to know Jesus or know him better. So a space now to pray for them. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs>